This video is about how to optimize your NVIDIA GPU for the best performance in games. If you want your NVIDIA GPU to perform like a completely different beast, this is the video you've been waiting for. Today, we're going deep, driver level, system level, and registry level to unlock hidden performance that most gamers never touch. And the best part, you don't need new hardware. You just need to follow every step exactly as I show you. Let's get started. Quick shout out to today's sponsor, JO PDF, the easiest all-in-one free PDF tool you'll ever use. No ads, no watermarks, nothing. When you open it, the dashboard is super clean. You can edit PDFs like a Word document, change text, add images, fix mistakes, without converting anything. You can create a PDF instantly with one click. You can organize pages so you can add, delete, or rearrange them however you want. You can print your PDF directly from the app. And my favorite, you can encrypt your PDF with a password so nobody can access your files. I've tried a ton of PDF apps, but this one is fast, clean, and 100% free on Windows. You can grab this from the link in the video description. Before optimizing anything, we need a clean foundation. First, download DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller. You can download it from my Discord server. Open DDU, choose GPU, NVIDIA, and click Clean and Restart. This removes old, corrupted, or conflicting driver files that slow down shader compilation and cause micro stutters. After the restart, install the latest NVIDIA driver from the official site. Choose Custom Installation and tick Perform a Clean Installation. Now we have a fresh start. Once your driver is ready, the first thing to do is clean out your shader cache. This helps remove old, corrupted, or oversized shader files that can cause stuttering in modern titles. To do this, open your file explorer and enter percent local app data percent in the path bar. Inside this folder, scroll until you see the NVIDIA or NVIDIA Corporation folder. Open it, find the shader cache directory, and delete everything inside. Your system will automatically rebuild shaders the next time you launch a game, giving you smoother frame pacing and fewer stutters. After the shader cache is cleared, you can open the NVIDIA app. This is the new updated interface that replaces the classic NVIDIA control panel for most users. Once inside the graphics section, start by setting your global profile to max performance. Make sure low latency mode is enabled so your GPU is pushing out frames with the lowest possible delay. You should also disable background recording, highlights, and any overlays if you're not actively using them, because these background tools consume both GPU and CPU resources during gameplay. Your goal here is to strip the NVIDIA app down to pure performance. Next, you'll open NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which unlocks deep driver-level settings NVIDIA hides from regular users. Search for the game you want to optimize or open the global driver profile to apply universal settings. Begin by adjusting low latency mode to ultra, which forces frames to be just in time rendered, reducing input lag. Change maximum pre-rendered frames to one because this prevents your GPU from queuing too many frames ahead, something that often causes mouse delay. For VSync, set it to off at the driver level so your GPU isn't capped or forced to sync frames unless you manually want it through a game or G-Sync. You should also modify the texture filtering LOD bias, pushing it slightly negative. This sharpens texture clarity, especially in competitive games, without sacrificing performance. Make sure to apply the profile after each adjustment. Now that the GPU side tweaks are done, you'll move to Windows Graphics Settings where you can help Windows prioritize your games and GPU-heavy applications. Open the Start menu and search for Graphics Settings. Once inside, switch Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling to On. This setting offloads GPU scheduling tasks from the CPU onto the GPU itself, which reduces latency and gives a slight FPS bump on supported hardware. Scroll down to the app list and add your games or launchers manually if they're not listed. Set each one to high performance, ensuring your dedicated GPU is always used. With Windows optimized, you'll now move into the registry editor for deeper NVIDIA-specific tweaks. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and press Enter. When the registry editor opens, 
copy the path of registry from the description of my video. While you're here, also create a DWORD for HWSCHMODE and set it to 2 if you want hardware scheduling enforced at the system level. Once you've made these changes, close the registry editor. The next part of the optimization focuses on making sure the NVIDIA control panel is aligned with everything you've already configured. Open the classic NVIDIA control panel and go into the three D settings menu. Under the global options, set power management mode to prefer maximum performance. Disable vertical sync once again to avoid conflicting behavior between apps, drivers, and window settings. For texture filtering, switch the quality mode to high performance as this reduces the overhead used for texture enhancements and gives you faster rendering in competitive games. Also make sure threaded optimization is on, allowing your CPU's multiple cores to work more effectively with NVIDIA's driver. After combining all these tweaks, your system will be cleared of old shader cache, your NVIDIA app settings will be fully optimized for low latency gaming, your Windows graphics configuration will prioritize the GPU correctly, deeply hidden driver features will be tuned through Profile Inspector, and high-priority registry values will ensure that your GPU tasks always come first. Together, these changes create a complete, advanced optimization stack that pushes your NVIDIA GPU to output extremely high performance, smoother frame times, and noticeably lower input latency in every game you run. I hope you love this guide, so make sure to leave your feedback about this video in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.